Okay, in this video, we wanted to talk about manual bidding versus automated bidding in Google Ads. There, there's a lot of debate with this, and you probably noticed if you have a newer account during the account setup, uh, this, this is for a search campaign, but it pops up with other campaigns, the bidding defaults to conversions or maximize conversions. It's another, another name for it. You can even do conversion value, uh, different things like that, or set a, set a target cost per auction, target CPA, things like that. So it, it's weird that Google forced this uh, in Google Ads because it used to have the option to select manual CPC or manual bidding. Now it's forcing it even though Google's own documentation, we, we'll link to this uh, below, it says rec recommend measuring performance over longer time periods that have at least 30 conversions, such as a month or longer, 50 conversions for target uh, ROAS, return on ad spend. So a lot of times what happens is people, you know, they just take Google's advice without really, you know, if they're beginners, they don't know any better, or people say, well, it starts with this, you should definitely do it, or use maximize conversions and it will maximize conversions. Smart bidding is trying to do whatever it says it's doing. If it's trying, or you set it for max conversions, it's gonna try to maximize conversions. If you set it to this, it's going to try to hit that number. It doesn't mean it's always going to hit it. So if you just put in, you know, I want $5 or uh, $5 leads all day, it just, the magic algorithm works. That's a, it, it doesn't. A lot of times, Setting a target CPA too low can completely restrict it and you just get no volume. Or even max conversions. You see sometimes you get a $300 CPC, which is cost per click. Uh, the portfolios thing can block that. Or um, it's doing alternative bid strategies. You have to set it up first and then switch to manual CPC, which a lot of times, e even if you're a huge fan of the automation, sometimes it stalls out, it gets stuck, especially with a new account, with a new campaign when you launch maximize conversions, you, you'll barely get any impressions, you'll barely get any clicks, or maybe you'll spend 500 or or $1,000 without a single conversion. That's because it doesn't have any conversion data. Again, it's it's telling you it needs a certain amount of conversions. Some of their document, Google's documentation says 20, others says 30. This has just been their rule. They need a lot of conversions to do the automated bidding. So th this is actually a stupid move. I don't know why Google forced this. I mean, really set it up this way, and we recommend starting with manual CPC, at least in the beginning, and, and most experts do. They, they covered this recently uh, in an in, uh, SMX conference. They were saying, typically with lead generation or even e-commerce, you'll start with manual bidding for a month or two to build up some data, get some conversions, put some things in there, and see what's working. Uh, we even recommend doing a longer test, or you can keep it on manual CPC forever. It's whatever gets results, whatever's working, that's what you should do. Uh, E-commerce usually works better. Um, lead generation is, uh, automation really hasn't been your best friend. A, a lot of times it will pick your own brand name, uh, which is not really a good one, or it can go off on a competitor's name, which sometimes that works. Other times it, it keeps sending the wrong signals and it gets in a feedback loop and you'll just constantly get bad leads because it's seeing it as conversions or maybe it'll hit a target CPA, but they're really bad leads. Google doesn't know quality. So you might pay $500 for a high value lead and $200 for a low value lead, or maybe you're collecting emails, which are usually a dollar or two, maybe $5 for or a free trial is a $10 CPA. There's all these different numbers. With manual uh, CPC, you can control the quality and different stages of the funnels, how much is an email worth, or you can switch it maybe on the lower ones that get a couple hundred conversions per month. You can switch that and let the automation work. But uh, without a high volume or some data, automation usually doesn't work. You need to start it out in a different way. There's so many nuances. It's not just set it and it always works. So we actually, we cover a lot of this inside of our master class. So I uh, wanted to, to cover that inside, explain, you know, during the setup and how you would optimize it, when you should use manual CPC or manual bidding versus automated bidding inside Google Ads. So we'll, we'll go ahead and jump over to that now to explain some more details. Most of the time you'll do manual CPC, which is just a manual bid. So you can set it 
at $2, $10, whatever you want to test to see how low you can get the bid and start getting some volume. Um, we put it in the optimization section because you'd usually switch after you have some performance data. Uh, even Google will tell you that it, it typically needs conversion data to optimize for conversions. Otherwise, it's just blindly testing a lot of different keywords and bids. So um, you could even permanently leave it on manual. If you don't want to switch, you don't trust the automation or the algorithm, uh, you can permanently leave it on there. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just whatever is getting results. Uh, the, the biggest things with these, they there's warnings that it say it, it, it might lower your performance and don't use this and it, it makes it seem like it's some kind of error. There's really nothing wrong with it. It's just saying that you manually have to adjust everything. It, it A warning makes it seem like you're going to do worse unless you do opt automate, automated bidding, which simply isn't true. And if you look at the wording on some of these, it, it makes it seem like if you click maximize conversions, you will automatically get more conversions. And with automated, it's trying to get more conversions. It could fail miserably. Uh, it could do better than your manual bidding. So it's it's something to test. So this training video is actually going to be a sample from our actual training program. So you can get a better idea of what's in here, uh, what we offer. Some of these are more, uh, beginner lessons and they'll go into more advanced. So if you need more advanced training, uh, we do have a link below in the description that will give you access to uh, discounts and different things like that from our advanced training and all of our different programs. That's going to be a link down in the description below. So one example, if you go back to the different options, you could uh, do this guided one that they have. What are you trying to optimize for? Conversion or conversion value? Uh, meaning if you have a store, so conversions, uh, it'll try to get as many conversions as possible with maximized conversions. It won't necessarily do that. It's not going to guarantee it's going to work. You can also set a target cost per action to try to keep it on a limit. So target CPA bidding, uh, it's just targeting kind of what, what number you want to pay per lead. I, again, I cannot stress this enough. It's not a guarantee that if you say I want $2 leads, suddenly you'll get $2 leads. Google will try to do that, but you have to use a realistic number based on past performance. A lot of times, if you've been running a campaign for a while, it will suggest a number based on what you've had in the past. So if you're getting $50 leads, Google will probably suggest $50 to $70 target CPA because you, you, you have to keep in a realistic number. Uh, if you have a lot of conversions and you're consistently doing well, let's just say you average $30, uh, you can say $30 or even try to try to push the automation lower to see if it could beat your manual bidding. So if it has a lot of conversions and you want to test target CPA, you would just go to conversions, set a target cost per action, $20, or even be really brave, maybe go to $20. If you average 30, see if the automation can get even lower than you. If the automation can't do better than you and you switch it over and it, it ruins performance, switch back to manual. This is just something to test if you have the performance data and if you want to see if it can scale. Uh, if you have a bigger budget, the, the campaign's been running for a while and you want to test if it can get a lower CPA, maybe add a lot broader keywords in there, more phrase match, uh, actual broad match, and there's, there's a wide range of search queries that people might find your product or service. This could be something to test. There would also be conversion value if you have a set value for your uh, conversions or uh, most commonly if it's e-commerce, you're, you're trying to set a number to get the highest uh, order value as possible. And with this one also, you can set a, re a uh, target return on ad spend. So it's aiming to get a certain number. For every uh, $1 you spend, you get $5 and that's that's 500%, something like that. So it it's for usually tested for a larger budget if you have a wide range of keywords and you want to put on some automation to not have to manually adjust your bids all the time. Uh, it, it's worth testing. It, if it doesn't work, go ahead and take it off automation. It, it's not a perfect system. So those are the most common ones. Uh, I mean, sometimes they can really scale. Sometimes they don't. Um, other ones would be clicks and you could set a maximum cost per click, so it, I mean, it doesn't go crazy. Uh, this one you could do at the beginning if you're trying to just get a huge volume, 
a lot of clicks and then get some conversions on the back end and then optimize later. Um, I mean, this is a lot less common because most people aren't just going for clicks. Uh, they're going for conversions. But if for some reason that makes sense to you, that, that could be something you test maybe in the beginning or something that's just branding. Uh, but m most of the time you're trying to get conversions. Impression share, uh, that's just trying to show as much as possible. Uh, again, that's, that's really not a very common one. Um, but that would just be to try to get the highest impression share number and a higher percentage that you're aiming for. So um, really branding, because it, it's gonna ignore your conversions, but that's just so you know, that, that's what that one means. Most of the time, you'll do conversions with a target CPA if you wanna test automation. If this is intimidating and, and you wanna have manual control at all times, just leave it on uh, manual bidding. And when you switch it, give it at least 30 days, sometimes even 60 to see if it can actually hit the target CPA or lower. Uh, it, it's not gonna work in a couple of days. So again, you have to have the higher budget to test this. You might lose some money running it 30 to 60 days. Uh, it might start picking up and the automation does extremely well, but just you need to do at least 30 to 60 days and uh, it works a lot better if the campaign has been running for a while, three to six months, uh, ideally a year, and you switch it over to automation to see if it could beat out the manual bidding. All right, everyone, thanks so much for watching our PPC ads training video. Uh, if you want more videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Uh, like this video if you found it useful. And any questions, post them in the comments down below. Uh, we also have additional training in the description. So thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.